You're watching TVC Breakfast. Now, according to recent studies and research by gynecologists, fibroid remains the leading cause of infertility in African women. And there are many misconceptions about the causes and management of the disease in Nigeria. For instance, many women have resorted to taking herbal concoctions in the treatment of fibroid. Now, this reproductive health expert say uh, has uh, adverse effects and negative impact on whoever takes it. Now, this report takes a look at the causes and symptoms and treatment of fibroid. Many marriages have been destroyed due to childlessness, a situation in which a woman is unable to get pregnant after many years of unprotected sexual intercourse. Some women still believe that fibroid is as a result of some demonic attack, while some men, after their wives have been diagnosed with fibroid, accuse them of being promiscuous. What exactly is fibroid? What category of women are predisposed to fibroid? Fibroid is a growth that you find only in women. And of course it's because the women are the only ones that have wounds. You find it more in the African women than you find in the Caucasian. It only grows in the womb. Um, if a woman who secretes hormones, um, progesterone and estrogen basically, um, secretes more of it, she has a tendency of having more of the fibroid because what really happens is that the fibroid causes a kind of regeneration of the growth. We find it also in people who are obese. Apparently, maybe sometimes we look at the fact that it might just be what they are eating. We realize that in our society, we hear a lot of bad stories concerning fibroid. Not only that, and we also realized in our experience that the people who really need help don't have the means. Why would a woman go and subject herself to a treatment that would eventually destroy her womb? It's ignorance and poverty. According to reproductive health experts, fibroid is in every woman and requires no surgery if it's not preventing fertility or poses a danger. All right, joining us to talk about this now is a consultant gynecologist, Dr. Adebumi Olarinoe. Uh, thank you very much for joining us right now. From what age should uh, children or young people become aware and become conscious of the issues of fibroid? Actually, fibroid is an abnormal growth in the uterus. And um, the problem usually starts after puberty when the female hormones um, start secreting in uh, significant quantities. So usually you don't have, you don't hear about fibroids in periods when they are not yet within the reproductive brackets. Uh, the children need not bother except when they start, uh, they reach adulthood. That's when fibroid starts becoming, it may become more prominent. All right, so uh, as, as it is right now, uh, when it comes to the issue of taking local herbs, uh, when it comes to management, a lot of people have said that local herbs uh, are, are more effective in management of fibroid. Talk to us about uh, the, the awareness from that window. Well, I, from my own um, experience, Local herbs have not been able to manage treatment. We still have a lot of fibroids. And if these local herbs were working, we would not have so much of it. I have a lot of people that have come. They've gone around. They've used herbs. They've done incisions and all this. And they still come with fibroids. And they still eventually have to operate because of the size, and because of the symptoms, and because of uh, some other problems that may arise, even from the procedures they have gone to do. So it's, it's not actually managed easily. I've never seen any case managed locally with local herbs and all these kind of things. No, I've not seen. When it comes to <laughs> management and, and cure, uh, can you talk to us? Uh, is, is, it, is, is there any way to treat it without necessarily going through a procedure? Or it has to be a procedure to uh, take care of fibroid? Fibroid... Um, the problem with fibroid is that it varies with individuals. Mm. Some fibroids grow so slowly that individuals do not need to actually intervene. It does not bother them at all. They go through their reproductive life, they go to menopause without having any problems. Some fibroids grow very rapidly, and because of possible damage to surrounding structures, 
kidneys, we do have to intervene. There are various methods of intervention, but most of it have surgical means. The medical means that we do are not usually permanent. They are like drugs and injections, and these ones shrink it for a while. The surgical ones we involve, involve going out, right, and removing the fibroid, or we might inject some things into the blood supply of this fibroid so that the fibroids will then dry up. But we do not then go and remove the fibroid nodules itself. There are new procedures being used now. Some use ultrasound targeted um, 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 sounds to go and dry up the fibroid. So there are new procedures being done. But usually it, it needs an intervention for a permanent res resolution of the problem. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Adebumi Olarinoye, consultant gynecologist. Thank you so much for talking to us on TVC Breakfast. You're watching TVC Breakfast. Now, according to recent studies and research by gynecologists, fibroid remains the leading cause of infertility in African women. And there are many misconceptions about uh, the causes and management of the disease in Nigeria. For instance, many women have resorted to taking herbal concoctions in the treatment of fibroid. Now, this reproductive health experts say uh, has negative effects. Now, this report takes a look at the causes, symptoms and treatment of fibroid. Many marriages have been destroyed due to childlessness, a situation in which a woman is unable to get pregnant after many years of unprotected sexual intercourse. Some women still believe that fibroid is as a result of some demonic attack, while some men, after their wives have been diagnosed with fibroid, accuse them of being promiscuous. What exactly is fibroid? What category of women are predisposed to fibroid? Fibroid is a growth that you find only in women. And of course it's because the women are the only ones that have wounds. You find it more in the African women than you find in the Caucasians. It only grows in the womb. Um, if a woman who secretes hormones, um, progesterone and estrogen basically, um, secretes more of it, she has a tendency of having more of the fibroid because what really happens is that the fibroid causes a kind of regeneration of the growth. We find it also in people who are obese. Apparently maybe sometimes we look at the fact that it might just be what they are eating. We realize that in our society we hear a lot of bad stories concerning fibroid. Not only that, and we also realized in our experience that the people who really need help don't have the means. Why would a woman go and subject herself to a treatment that would eventually destroy her womb? It's ignorance and poverty. According to reproductive health experts, fibroid is in every woman and requires no surgery if it's not preventing fertility or poses a danger. Well, joining me now is a consultant gynecologist, Dr. Adebumi Olarin Noe. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Now, there Thanks. has been several uh, uh, talks about the leading cause of uh, fibroid. But for you as an expert, what is at the root of fibroid? Thank you very much. Fibroid is actually a growth, um, a non-cancerous growth. That means it is not a cancer. It is not a growth that particularly kills or spreads to, to other parts of the body. It's a growth of the muscles of the uterus. And it is found more commonly in the black, the negroid race, than the Caucasians or the Asians. The exact cause of fibroid is not yet known. Some people have tried to link it to some form of diet, but all those that are not yet strengthened because it's found in people in various parts of the world so long as they're Negroid. And um, also um, children of mixed marriages and things like that. It, it's one thing that is clear is that it has a genetic or a familial um, tendency. So that if a, the mother or the, or the sister has it, the other female siblings have a, a higher risk of having it. But the exact root cause is not yet clear. Now, some have and said that uh, this is also the cause of infertility uh, in 
women as well. But then these days we find that some women still have babies and are also said to also have fibroid. How does that work? Yes. Actually, fibroid is not a leading cause of infertility. Several women that have fibroid still get pregnant. Um, the fibroids may predispose to fertility issues depending on where the fibroid is. So that it, like if it's located around the area of the tubes, it may then cause a problem with fertility. But most often we do not equate fibroid to infertility. Most people once they hear fibroid in a woman, they are crying and they feel, ah, this lady cannot get pregnant, but that is not the situation. Most problems occur as a result of how the fibroid is actually managed. Most people that find that they have fibroids, they go to wrong places, and in trying to get the fibroid out or in trying to manage the fibroid, they actually cause damage to themselves. And so now, spe really speaking about management, that. what is the best way for women who find themselves uh, in the situation to go about uh, managing the fibroid, fibroids? The management of fibroid actually depends on a number of things, the size, where exactly it is located in the womb, is it inside or outside, and um, what are the problems that it is giving. Sometimes, some women have fibroids, it doesn't give any problem, they do not know, and they continue to have their children. When they do have fibroids, the main thing we do is what we call something like surgical management. The, the management can be surgical or medical. Medical means we can give some drugs and injections to shrink the fibroids for a time. And then later, we may have to remove it. The definitive management is a surgical management, either by removal of the fibroid itself or by injecting some things into the blood supply of the fibroid and causing the fibroid to then dry up when you inject those um, drugs into it using some special things like laparoscopic um, um, procedures. Or All you right. can actually go and remove it. All right, from, Dr. Uh, Adebumi Olarinoe, thank you for your time on TVC Breakfast.